Good morning to all my boss babes. Welcome back to House of Eric. Today I decided to vlog randomly. Sometimes you just get in the mood and you gotta do it. So I am in the beautiful Arizona right now and I am on my day two of Sephora. Remember, you belong to something beautiful. So I wanted to take you, oh shit, my bus is here. What's up guys? So I had to go because my bus randomly showed up, but I'm about to start my day at work. So I was thinking I'm gonna take you guys on a work day with me, but that probably won't be until I get like my foot in the door until I get more cool with like, you know, just get more cool with everything, period. But I'm super excited and um, I'll probably do two days of vlogging. So I'll, this will be like the beginning of my work shift and then I'll do a day off with me. But yeah, so you're gonna see two days in this video, but it's still a live vlog. All right guys, I gotta go clock in. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. What is up guys? So, check out the makeup look. She's giving bad and bougie, bad and bougie. I am on my lunch break right now. I am chilling and check out the eyeshadow. I'm obsessed. Bad and bougie. What's up guys? Welcome back. Ew, oh my God, I didn't even see that. Yeah, you know, living the life of a fucking makeup artist. No big deal. What is that? Like Bible. Hold on, let's wipe it off together. What's up, guys? Welcome back to House of Eric. God damn it, every time I do this, the bus comes. But yeah, guys, I'm about to get on the bus. Tomorrow's my day off. Um, tomorrow is my day off. This is this look is not for everyone, but it's avant-garde. You know, just a little monochromatic moment. Um, yeah, going into Sephora, and I will see you guys later. So when you're seeing this, it's going to be like a three-parter, probably two-parter. They're different days of my vlogs, but I wanted to take you guys kind of on like a week makeup today, very natural. Um, just did, I don't really know, I just did some foundation. I'm wearing NARS Soft Matte. My eyebrows, I just, I'm wearing Oma Beauty. It's like a two-in-one eyebrow pencil. And for my slight bronze, I just wanted like a sun kiss moment. I'm wearing uh, e.l.f. Hydrating 16 Hour Camo Concealer and just use it as a bronzer. Super, super cool. That's what I love about makeup. It can literally be used for anything. Today's my day off as a day off at Sephora, but I have something really exciting. So I have an interview at one of the as you guys know, if you've been watching me for a while, you guys know when I lived back in Yuma, Arizona, um, I've been bartending. I was bartending over there. And I moved over to a different city in Arizona where I got the job as a licensed beauty advisor at Sephora, which is the highest level of beauty advisors. It's not entry level, it's the highest one. You have to have a license in cosmetology in order to hold the position because we perform facials. Well, I perform facials. I perform makeup. I do makeup artist and all that good shit. So you have to know what the fuck you're talking about. Anyways, that's why I moved for, out of Yuma to a different city. But it's been so good. It's been about a month since I've been here and it's going really well. But um, anywho, today's my day off, like I said, from Sephora. So I have an interview at one of the hottest gay bars. And if I get this, it's going to be super amazing. Um, it's because it's going to solve a lot of financial problems right now. But yeah, anywho, I just wanted to take you guys with me because I feel like I've been neglecting you guys. And I swear, it's not because I don't want to film. You guys know I love filming. There's just so much shit going on. And there, I know there's so much shit going on in your guys' lives too. But you know when life just kind of starts to like... You feel like it's one thing after another. Like you fix the problem, then it throws something else at you and you're like, freak, damn. But you know what? You just gotta stay positive and you just gotta keep going. And yeah, I mean, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. It's what I always, always say, you know? 
so I have to stay positive and remind myself, you know what, Eric? You're a bad bitch. And sooner or later, this is all going to pay off and all my dreams are going to come true. And I'm so glad that you guys are on this journey with me because you guys will see exactly what transpires in my life and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about soon. I'm not able to share yet, but some fun stuff in store. Anywho, guys, I will vlog when, oh my God, am I, I'm out of shape. <laughs> I'm like, it's because I walk really fucking fast. Does anybody else walk fast or do they walk slow? Oh, check out the shirt. Hey. Hey. That's the outfit for the gay bar. I thought it was very cute. Not too, not too like out there like slutty because I'm not that type of, I'm not that type of gay. But I think it's cute. What do you guys think? Do you guys like my outfit? Comment down below. Um, I love you guys. Thanks for following me on my journey. As soon as I get into my new apartment, I swear to God, beauty videos every fucking week. So right now, all I can really upload is vlogs. But I promise you, there's a lot of beauty to come. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm passionate about. I love you guys. Hey guys, so I'm back and if I'm being more quiet or if you hear background noise, I apologize um, because I'm on the bus. So I'm trying to be respectful, but um, the interview went super well. Uh, say a prayer for me, guys. I hope that I get it. Um, I just was authentic and I was just myself and that's all I can be. And I'll let God do the rest. If you don't believe in God, don't hate me in the comments whatever um, whatever you believe in that's your business I don't judge anywho back to the story so you know I was thinking to myself I was thinking I'm like okay do I say certain things on camera do I not say certain things on camera but I promised myself before I started this YouTube channel that I was going to be completely authentic and just be myself because maybe what I'm going through is what others have been through or what others are going through but have you ever been so broke that you didn't have enough for like anything right if you haven't been there God bless you you're lucky but that's kind of where that's kind of where I've been at recently but you know what it's all gonna get better my point is I was on the bus and I had purchased a month bus pass so where I live you can purchase like a pass for every day or you can save money and you can purchase a bus pass for like a month right and <laughs> I'm such an idiot. It's like my ADHD ass, I swear. I fucking, um, this shirt is so fucking cute, by the way. Okay, ADHD. My ADHD ass drops my bus pass month long, which I just bought. Mind you, remember, I'm broke as fuck, but at least I look cute, right? Um, <laughs> and I lost it with literally no money left and I'm like you know what I can either go into a really bad place and think dark and be like oh my god nothing's working there's just one problem after another what do I do do I go back and to where I started do I go back to the city I came from do I what do I do but you know what I'm just going to keep doing the next right thing. I'm going to keep working my ass on. And I have dreams that are bigger than the city I came from. And I have dreams that are bigger than my fucking problems. And I'm not going to stop until my fucking dreams come true. And that is on fucking period. So my point is, you're not the only one who's going through something. Just because I'm glam and gorgeous 
when I'm getting ready and showing you guys these videos. I did the life vlog portion of my channel because I wanted you guys to really get to know me um, and my life and I feel like that's really the whole reason that I wanted to do this, you know? One, my passion for beauty, but two, just so you guys can get to know me, my life, and I feel like if I'm not keeping it 100% real with you guys, how is anybody gonna connect with me, right? That's just my opinion, my take on it. Anyways, um, yeah, this is the journey. So you guys are gonna see me from broke to motherfucking rich. Remember this video. And if you're going through something difficult, I love you. And remember, it will get better. If I can do it, you can do it. I promise you. Remember, you belong here and you're part of something beautiful. Stay tuned for my next video because it will be a makeup video and we will get back to business. Love you guys. God bless. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and have a blessed day.